Good morning. Welcome to a two and two on Thursday, the 11th of September. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the pound dollar first, and as you can see, yesterday uh, the the pound made quite a quite a recovery uh, following the previous day's doji. We've made a slight lower a lower low, but it's a uh, it's put a bullish engulfing candle in a key reversal candle in effectively there by uh, taking out the previous day's lows. There is the potential for it to go and uh, fill this gap uh, if we can get a bit more of a rally and a push through. Uh, that obviously, looking from the um, there's the uh, huge gap that sort of sits there. Uh, that could run up to that 50 MA, which which would make a uh, a, a decent sort of uh, a decent move, and also um, run into that 50 MA, which may provide some resistance at that point. But um, if, if it can break through the 34, move, move up to that way, that would be sort of a an expected area. Uh, in the shorter term time frame, there is a downside target sitting there at uh, uh, 161.60, uh, which uh, may be hit uh, prior to any run uh, uh, move upwards. And I prefer to see that run out the, at the time. We have sort of got this ball flaggy sort of pattern, but the, the flag side is getting a bit a bit extended, so. I uh, wouldn't be, as I say, terribly surprised if it did roll over and just come back and hit the pivot. There's a reasonable chance of that happening. Okay, looking at the euro dollar and start the bigger picture. Not quite so bullish um, in terms of what we saw yesterday. It closed uh, on a negative bar, uh, price coming off there. And it's it's really a bit range bound. I, I, I wouldn't be terribly shocked if we stay, stay within a, a certain range here for a, a while at least. Uh, but uh, it's certainly looking quite rangy. Um, there's a chance it could want to come back and test those lows. Uh, there's nothing obvious telling me it's going to come back and test those lows. Let's just uh, let's have a look at this on a full page here. It diverged earlier on on the RSI from the RSI perspective. Um, it, it could still push up and uh, break uh, if, it, if it does get a move on the, a break to the upside. Uh, may just want to push up towards the uh, 34, maybe 50, but at the moment, as I say, not looking uh, uh, particularly bullish. I mean, it's just very neutral um, in terms of the range, and I'd be looking at the sort of range it's in at the moment, um, and probably selling to the highs and oh, uh, buying to the lows and selling to the highs. Really, at the moment, it's uh, as I say, there's little in the way of trend there for me. Okay, um, as for news. Today, we just have the US uh, unemployment claims at 1.30 and nothing that significant up until then. Um, we have got Draghi speaking, speaking at 8 o'clock this evening, uh, which could cause some volatility around that time. Okay, have a great one. Bye for now.